This is Vicki Romaine with Cheerful Greetings, and today we will continue with our series of showcasing the family, quote, unquote, in a story theme junk journal. This is my uh, junk journal, and I've only got one uh, signature in it, but uh, I have the rest. I'm just about ready to go in. The reason I have it out now is because I want to measure the size of my page. And I have torn a piece of uh, designer paper, and I want to see if it will fit. And yes, it will. I just wanted some other color besides the, the coffee stain in the background. In fact, I may even use the purple, but I think, I think I'm going with the coffee stain. I like this page right here. I like that. So I will be working on the designer paper and then I will glue it into the page of my book. The first thing I'm gonna do is have some circles. I need three circles. Um, these are two and a half inches in diameter. Next, I need three circles of uh, book pages. And what I'm going to do, I want to show two here, but you'll see the third one in a minute. I'm going to glue these to the back or the front of my uh, cardstock. And this is fairly heavy cardstock. I'm using rubber cement. So after I get it placed on the cardstock, I can slide it over in place. And we do both of them like, like this. Okay, now they're both in place. The third one, I have put the words mom and dad using some stickers um, on my book page. So now I'm going to glue it, uh, glue it to the third circle. Okay. So we will place this one temporarily right here. Next, I have a picture of the mom that I'm gonna use to, at least for the mom. Uh, and I already have her cut out and I will see if she fits. Yes, she does. And I rounded out the bottom so she would go on top of that uh, circle nicely. What I'm trying to do in this series and find, is find some interesting ways to show your characters or your family in your journal. We'll let her sit up for a minute and I'll put her right here. Now the dad, I have not finished cutting out. So give me a second and as I just found him, uh, I had another guy and I just didn't think he was quite old enough. So we're going to cut this little guy out here in just a minute. Okay, now let's see if he will fit on the circle. Um, yes, but his shoulders are too wide, so we'll just kind of 
put him down here and hold him in place. And then I'll just kind of trim him down a little bit. Now I did not stress the digitals. But I am going to distress the circles. So we'll put him on here. Let me glue him down. And you want to make sure that you have your writing going the right direction and not up and down. Okay. I'll let him sit there for a few minutes and, and set up. And I'll go back to the Our Lady. And I'll take my walnut stain and just kind of stain the circle a little bit. Also, if she doesn't fit exactly at the bottom, the stain will cover it up. You have to kind of pick through the available digitals and find one that's the right size. I'm gonna do the same thing with the mom and dad. While the other one sets up. Okay, now we'll do the little guy. Okay, we have them. We have them finished. Now I want to see my placement. I'm. Go, I want this in the center, and one of my stickers doesn't want to hold, so we'll just put a little glue on it to make sure it holds. I'm not sure how long I've had these stickers, but I'm sure they have quite a bit of edge on them, excuse me. Okay, I want this in the center. And I want, since the word mom's at the top, I'm gonna put her at the top. And I'm gonna put him at the bottom. Now, what I'm gonna do, and it just happens, this almost fits perfectly. I'm going to slide him over just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put some glue on the bottom. Well, I'll put it on the top so I can make sure I aim right. I'm gonna put it right on the top, kind of between these edge and the line. I'm gonna put this right above it. Let it hold. Then I'm gonna turn it around just a little bit so I can reach it. And I'm gonna put her, whoops, I did her wrong. Whenever you do it wrong, if you're fast enough, you can get the glue off. Plus this glue dries clear. I goofed up. We want the glue on the bottom of the lady. On the top of the guy, and on the bottom of the lady, because I want my middle piece. I'll turn it around so I can make sure it's straight. I want the middle piece to be on top of both of them. And this little sticker just doesn't want to stick. So we'll give it a little more glue there. Okay. Now, I basically have this done. I'm gonna carefully 
turn it out uh, turn it over because it hasn't had much time to to set up I'm gonna glue the bottom bottom edge not a whole lot of it just just about a fourth of an inch shall we say or you can go as much as a half an inch but about a fourth of an inch would do I'm only gluing the bottom of the bottom circle and the top of the top circle then I'm going to flip this over and try to put it on a piece of paper my designer paper and I'm gonna put it like this. Now, you know who those characters are, don't you? They're the mom and the dad. Okay, now, you said, well, why did she glue just the top and the bottom? Well, this is why. Say that I have, let me cut this off here a minute. Use this as a sample. After I put this inside my book, I'm going to glue this on the page, this sheet on one of my pages. I've got me a belly band that shows the mom and dad. Like that? As I said, I'm just using this piece of paper because that's what I have on my desk. Okay, now that's half the story. Let's go back and put that up here. This other half, I'm going to give you an idea and then you can work from it uh, the way you want. I'm going to take my piece of paper. And as I said, this is going to be glued on top of a piece of coffee paper. That brings out the browns and all. Along the same line, I'm going to give you another piece of paper here. And this one, I'm going to make a little smaller. And as I say, you don't want it straight. You want it to have a little personality. So... This happens, this has a, a bend to it. Now, I'm gonna take my small circles and I am making them with a one and a fourth punch. I have um, two of them here and I need one more. doesn't help having arthritis when you're using your punch because it kind of takes everything out of you trying to get that lever to go down. Okay, now along the same line, I'm going to take my, like this would better, my pieces of book page. Pick the side that has the most interesting looking writing. And this time I have three. Okay. You could do four. It's up to you. It depends on what's in your what's in your quote family. Okay. Let's take a quick rundown of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna glue and then um pick out my images and then distress. Okay. Now 
Next, I have my images. And this time, it's a little boy, a bigger boy, a little boy here, and I cut this one out a while ago, a little girl. Now, I'm going to make this a family of three. So I'm going to put the little girl who is older, or the oldest, and I'm going to put the little boy with the cap on, and then I'm going to put the little boy with the dog. So this family is made of a mother and father, and a little girl, a little boy. And we'll take a second and do a little distressing. And you don't have to use your walnut stain. You can uh, pick a color. Since his outfit is blue, I could have done all of these in teal or a blue so it would match up. Okay, now we're going to put the images on. Now you may think, and since I'm working with the number three again, that I'm going to put them like that one. Well, I could, but not necessarily. I just want to show you a different way that you can approach this. I want to make sure I get them on with the writing going the right direction. This little boy almost had his words sideways. And this little girl, obviously she's too big for the circle. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with her head and put her on. Fix it like I want it. Maybe need to turn it around so it's on the writing right. Okay, now I'm going to turn it over and trim her down. This way is a lot easier than guessing. Okay. Now we have our three here that are gonna fit on a coffee uh, paper that makes it a belly band. This one, you have two or three things you can do. You can do them the same way as we did the mother and father and make a small belly band. Or we could put them like this, just glue them next to each other, then take this one and glue it at the bottom. And I'll show you what I mean. Um, this, I think I'm gonna put it near the bottom because this is the page I'm gonna use. I'm gonna go ahead and glue these to the designer paper. That way you can see what I mean or what I'm doing. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do is glue it at the bottom. Put it one like that. Let me straighten this head up. I'm kind of pushing it a little bit as far as having the glue set up. Uh, and I think I'm going to let the other one, the youngest one, the one with the dog, have a little glue at the bottom again. And I'm going to dab just a dab on the right-hand side and just barely overlap it. Let me turn it around. Okay. The third one, as I said, don't forget, you can do them as a belly band, or I can dab just a little bit at the bottom, and I don't, and I don't want it to get on the paper, so I'm going to 
get most of it off, except the, at the very edge. Because it's the very edge that's going to go on top of the other two. Like this. Now, if you wanted to, if you were naming your people and all, I'm going to have to let this sit up a minute because um, I'm moving it too quickly. Um, you, you could put the names out here. Uh, you know, Mary, Jeff, Henry, whatever, out here beside them if you want to. Or if you just want to mention them in your story. Or if you just want to show the pictures. You know, it, it's up to you. It's, it's your book. So, let's see what this makes. Now, I'm going to hold it down with my fingers because it's still, the glue is still wet. But look, I can make me a, I have made me a pocket. Now, it's supposed to come under, there we go. I'm holding it down so much as I, there we go. I have made myself a pocket with my circle that has a hole in it. <laughs> so, there's a little pocket made with the three people, the three children. And here is a belly band made with the mom and dad. Now, you don't have to put the word mom and dad. You could um, put flowers there. You could put uh, a picture of the house would be great. You know, an old old house. I started to do that. But um, uh, this is what I have for today. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was fun to do, and I hope you uh, will try it out and, and tell me what you like and what you don't like about it. Uh, as I said, this will take a while for it to dry, but you barely want to get that glue on those three edges there because you want to be able to take that piece of cardstock and go underneath without it tearing up. And uh, it won't take too long to dry. If necessary, you can do also come up the edges a little bit. I didn't come up the edges very much. I just basically did the bottom. Because you don't have to, I mean, this will stay in there. Okay. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, uh, please come back and see me. And please subscribe. I hope you have a good crafting day. Bye.